So here we are on this last problem number four, which is the most challenging problem. Read the words. We're looking for the amount of lift achieved in the hot air balloon. Difference in mass, that means subtraction is needed. Difference is subtraction between the hot gas inside and the equal volume of unheated air. Let me draw a picture as it suggests. Here's my balloon. It's a big balloon. It says it's 425 liters. And this is the hot balloon. It's 100 degrees C inside. Compare that to an equal volume of unheated air. That will be my, I'm just going to draw a box for that, but it'll still be 425 liters but it's only 22 degrees C. So that's an equal volume of unheated air. And we're trying to find the difference in mass. What's the mass of the air in the balloon? What's the mass of the air in the unheated box? Let's use density. It says you've already calculated the density of N2 at these two temperatures. Let's try the hot. We have 425 liters I'm using dimensional analysis because I have the density right here. I already calculated it. 0.918 grams per liter. How many total grams is that? 390 grams. How about the unheated air? That is the, I'm going to call it cool. It's still 425 liters, but it's denser air. Uh, if you did this correctly at the beginning, it's 1.16 grams per liter is the density of the 22 degrees C air. And so this comes out to be 493, 493 grams. The difference in mass between these two numbers here gives you the lift. So it's going to be simple. It's, it's, it's the difference here which is 103 grams. You can see it easily. And that's the lift. That's the lift. And that's not much. That's about a kiwi fruit or a Roma tomato. So a small tomato. So this is a big, big balloon here, 425 liters, but it can only lift a small fruit. So if you wanted to lift a human, for example, you need an enormous balloon. So that's the take home message here. Hot air balloon is not very effective at lifting things. Um, you need an enormous volume to make it work.